inhabitants of the plague with their plague um, and he's going to be brought to justice. Uh, we also have um, in Carnival an illusionist and mentalist show as well as a freak show that'll be rotating on the same stage and we have a couple new different roaming performances that people can see if they can catch their own parts. My god, that is a really lot long of answer. new thing. No, that's a lot for just one year. So what goes on behind the scenes to prepare for Halloween Hunt? There's a lot of stuff. So for our department specifically, we've been hiring for our monsters and our atmosphere performers since July. So we run um, weekly hiring fairs and auditions because we have over 400 performers uh, throughout the park in our mazes and our atmosphere areas. We also um, audition and we've been rehearsing all the new shows I mentioned for about a two week period. And then over in the Creative and Event Services Department, they take care of the design, the build, and the technical install for all of the mazes and all of the scare zones. So they've been hard at work for that that stuff pretty much since like January, February. And then all of that stuff over the last month or so has been installed throughout different areas of the world. Awesome. You're using a pig and looking at me very <laughs> I'm walking, that's here. That's hilarious. Craig is already scared and you're not even in the haunted house. He squeaked a pig at me. <laughs> Alright, back to the interview. I don't know how to feel about that. So what's your personal favorite in terms of new haunted houses or scary So of course I obviously like all of them, but if I had to pick a favorite, I would say for scare zones, I'm a really big fan of Wicked Hollow. That was our new scare zone with fairies and gnomes last year out by the mountain. And it actually was our scare zone of the year, um, which I helped vote for, so clearly I liked it a lot. Um, and then in terms of mazes, um, I would say it's probably a tie between two. I really love Spirit Manor. That's one that's definitely been a guest favorite um, and a staff favorite for a number of years. It's really cool in terms of theming and technical elements. And I also really enjoy the crypt, which was new last year. Um, there's some really neat um, technical elements as well. And and some really cool costumes that we have in there that are really interesting. So what's your advice to people that have never been to Halloween Hunt before? My advice for people who have never been to Halloween Hunt, I would definitely say go on the website and take a look at the park map uh, and what the attractions are and see what you're really interested in going so you can make sure that you get to those ones and kind of plan out what shows are near what mazes so you can kind of plan your little route. But I would definitely say a lot of people tend to start at the front of the park at the start of the night. So if you go to the back of the park, nobody's typically there right off the top as much. And then you can kind of work your way forward and you'll be working the opposite way that a lot of people would tend to go. We're doing this. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Julie. My pleasure. 